Let's talk about protein and why I'm choosing to include more protein in my diet as I am aging and now well into my 40s. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. My name is Elizabeth Finch. So today I'm gonna talk about how to get more protein at dinner and share four quick and easy but protein packed dinners that I make all the time for myself and also my family because you guys know I have two kids and a husband and you know they need protein too. So I'm gonna share those ideas with you and be sure and check out my um, protein packed breakfast and protein packed lunches videos. I will post a playlist right here and I'll also post it in the description below. But in the video that I did previously with the protein packed breakfast ideas, I talked a little bit more about why I am trying to include more protein in my diet. I'm 42 years old now. I um, have been strength training more, trying to strength training about maybe four times a week. And I'm just learning about, you know, why we need more protein in our diet. And especially as we age after 40s, um, this is something that I'm choosing to do my, for myself and just sharing it with you all. But um, you know, we're, we're thinking about like lean muscle and metabolism and things like that now that we're in our forties. And of course, you know, so much changes as we age. And once we hit 40, the funny thing is that everybody told me that when I was younger, like in my twenties and thirties, they were like, just wait till you're 40. Things change so much at 40. And I was like, how much can they really change? And they do, but it's true. I mean, our bodies just physically change, you know, things change hormonally, but one of the things that changes is it becomes harder for us to put on and maintain lean muscle mass. And that's something that I'm really trying to do more of now, you know, weight training more, strength training more. And so I wanna make sure I'm eating plenty of protein as well so that I can put on that muscle, which helps to support metabolism. You know, it helps the body look leaner. Um, it, it Eating protein makes uh, it helps us to feel fuller for longer throughout the day. So lots of reasons that I'm choosing to include more protein and paying attention to how much protein I'm eating every day. And again, I talked about that in my breakfast video, how to get more protein at breakfast. So make sure you check out all three of those because I've done a breakfast, a lunch, and then now today with this video, I will have done dinner. So I'm gonna share four of my favorite easy and quick protein packed dinner ideas, you know, for busy weeknights or whatever, because I really don't like to spend more than like 15 minutes making dinner, but I want it to be healthy and filled with protein and then also fiber and veggies and antioxidants. So I'm gonna share those with you today. Let's go. Okay, this first one, I have been making this forever and I just continue to like change it every time I make it and I kind of forgot about it. Um, and I don't even think it's on my blog yet, so I'm gonna put it on my blog before I post this video, but it's called, I just call it like cheeseburger skillet. Easy cheeseburger skillet. And there are so many different ways you can make it, but it is centered around pre-roasted. I use sweet potatoes. You can also use potatoes. I like to do these on the weekend. I'll just chop up our, uh, Oops, turn my oven on. I will just chop up some sweet potato that's like about this size and then put it on, let me show you, parchment paper covered baking sheet. And then I just roast them for like, usually it's probably around 35, 40 minutes at like 425. Um, and then you can just keep those in the refrigerator for the rest of the week and just snack on them or use them in dishes, however you want. But they do go in this cheeseburger skillet. Let me show you what mine looks like tonight. And I've got it all pretty because I'm gonna take a picture of it and put it on my blog. But look, I used um, ground turkey thighs, but I've also made this before with just ground beef, grass-fed ground beef. And you can see the sweet potatoes. It's also got some chopped up pepper. It's got some little pieces of baby kale. You can use spinach if you like that better. Um, I've got a little bit of green onions on top and then it's got a couple of spices that make it like smoked paprika, I swear. It just makes it taste like a cheeseburger. I don't know how to describe it. I've also made this, like I said, with ground beef. Tonight I made it with turkey. I've also made it with like sliced up chicken sausage, which is a little bit different texture and flavor, but all of these have plenty of protein. You could also do it with like ground bison. I might do that next time. Um, it does have a little bit of cheese in it. I used mozzarella tonight, just shredded mozzarella, but you can use whatever you have on hand or you can use your favorite cheese or you can leave the cheese out if you like to do that for whatever reason. So um, like I said, I will have the link to this by the time I get this video posted, I'll have the full recipe on my, up on my blog. But this is like 30 grams of protein per serving. It's a great way to get protein in. And I love that this particular dish does not have any processed carbohydrates. It's you know, the carbohydrates are coming from the sweet potatoes. 
which are also loaded with fiber. And then of course, lots of other vitamins and minerals and things like that. So fantastic option for a healthy dinner that has no processed carbohydrates. Love it. I think you'll love it too. All right, here is another favorite weeknight dinner that's super quick and easy and is loaded with protein. Um, I love to do stir fry and there's so many different ways you can do it. I usually start with frozen shrimp. I love to do stir fry with shrimp and I just buy whatever wild caught frozen shrimp I can find. You can also do it with chicken, um, tofu, like whatever you want. It's just lots of ways to add protein. And then I always use stir fried veggies, stir fried um, frozen veggies. Most every grocery store has this stir fried blend. It's got like broccoli and peppers and mushrooms. So I have a huge wok too and that's how I like to make stir fry. But I think really any large heavy skillet would work. Um, the wok just helps to keep it from splashing everywhere. But I put, I start by getting my wok pretty hot, put a little bit of toasted sesame oil in it, about half a tablespoon, and then I do the shrimp first, and you wanna let it thaw and pat it really dry before you do it. Um, so I do that, and then I take the shrimp out when it's cooked, I put a little bit more of the oil back in, and then I add however much of the stir fry blend that I'm using. Stir fry those up, then I add the shrimp back in, and then I add just whatever Asian sauce I have on hand. I really am loving this peanut sauce from uh, Whole Foods right now, the 365 brand. So I just toss everything with that, do a little bit of rice in the rice cooker, and then, or in the Instant Pot, I guess I should say, and then I toss it all together. Um, well, I don't toss the, I mean, you could, but here's what it looks like. So my stir fried veggies and shrimp, and then I've got some rice on the side, and it's got that lovely peanut sauce from Whole Foods. This is super high in protein and it took me like less than 12 minutes, less than 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to do the rice in the Instant Pot, but that is it. And it is so delicious and it's filled with protein and also veggies and then fiber. Okay, so this next one I have been um, really loving lately and my family really loves it too. It's lettuce wraps and I've been using ground beef, but you can also use ground turkey. You could use ground chicken, you could use shrimp. Again, the options are so endless for what you could create this with this using whatever protein you want. But the key to this, and I'm gonna set my camera down so I can show you these as I make them. The key to this is having the perfect leaves of lettuce to do this with. And I found that this living uh, head of butter lettuce that I get at Whole Foods, this is perfect. It's the perfect size. It's like a tender lettuce. So this is what we've been using. And I will just say that I'm not anti, um, carbs at dinner at all. We do tacos a lot. We do, you know, tacos with corn tortillas. We do, um, sometimes I use those mission flour tortillas that I showed you guys in my lunch protein video. I do that, um, you know, for a pressed tortilla and I'll link to that video here in case you want to see what that pressed tortilla recipe is. I do bread sometimes at dinner if I'm having like eggs and toast or whatever, but, um, it's just kind of fun to mix it up some. So right now my family really loves these lettuce wraps and I love it because my girls are getting tons of veggies. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I've been doing just a mixture of um, ground beef and I just use some sauces like Boston sauce. I don't have this recipe up anywhere yet, I'm sorry. Soy sauce, I put a little bit of rice vinegar and then also a little bit of this chili paste that I get at Whole Foods. Um, so let me show you what it looks like when you assemble the lettuce wrap. I've already got the beef made. So you can see this mixture, the light is not perfect, I'm sorry. I'll show you guys once I get it all on the lettuce wrap so you can see what it looks like. You can serve a little rice on the side if you do want to add you know, some carbs to this because there's not any carbs in just the meat and the lettuce wraps. But again, I'm not anti-carb by any means. I actually really love carbs. They're a huge part of my life. <laughs> So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I don't eat them because I eat them a lot. I wish you guys could smell this. I've got to, I'm gonna have to put this recipe on my blog because it's super easy. And then what I love about it is you can load it up with whatever veggies you like. So I always like to put shredded carrot on mine and I just buy it already shredded. It's easier. So really all I had to do here is just wash and pat dry the lettuce leaves. And I'm gonna show you this so that you can see it in better light. Um, wash and pat dry the lettuce leaves and then cook the meat and a little bit of onion. I'm gonna bring you down here where the light's a little bit better. Um, also, if I had some sliced up green onions, I would put those on top, but I don't. It's Thursday and I just, you know, it's been a couple of days since I've been to the store. So I'm out of green onions, but I'm gonna flip this camera around so I can show you what this looks like. These lettuce wraps, again, it's just the veggies, you know, the greens. And then there's some diced onions mixed in with the beef. 
and then all of those sauces that I showed you, I just kind of mixed it all up and put it in the skillet. So, and then I just found this at Whole Foods the other day and I love it on my lettuce wraps. This is uh, sushi ginger. So I got this at Whole Foods. Um, it's in the Asian aisle, but it's like the same kind of sushi, I mean the same kind of ginger that you put on your sushi. So I'll put a few pieces of those on top. And then look at, yum, this is so delicious. My family loves the smell right now and I love that I'm able to get so many veggies and protein and for my family, my girls and myself. So easy win. All right, so for this last one, this is probably my most go-to quick and easy weeknight meal when I just do not have an idea of anything else to make or I don't have any chicken in the fridge or seafood in the freezer or anything like that. Eggs are always and forever gonna be my go-to. And I showed them to you in my breakfast video because they, of course, so many people love eggs for breakfast. But I'm here to tell you right now that if you do not eat eggs for dinner, you are missing out. Like you are totally missing the boat because I actually prefer eggs for dinner. I like, I like that sort of savory, you know, I like it better at night than I do at breakfast. So great if you like it for breakfast, but I'm just here to tell you that they are a fantastic option for dinner as well with loads of protein and good, they're so easy to load up with veggies. So tonight I actually did not have any veggies ready to go in my fridge other than a box of kale and I was kind of in a hurry. So I just do the kale in the skillet with a little bit of oil, let it melt, oh, no, kale doesn't melt, let it wilt, and then I mixed up my eggs and poured it over the top of the wilted kale, and I think I shared this with you guys before, but I like to do one whole egg, so I get a little bit of the fat from the yolk, and then I do about three egg whites, which is plenty of protein, and then I scrambled those up, so I call this a scramble, it's kind of like an omelet, but it's messier, so I like to call it a scramble. So I scrambled it all up and then I tossed it with, I'm having a moment right now with pepper jack cheese. So I love this, I just buy sliced pepper jack cheese and you can also buy string cheese and pepper jack and they're amazing also. Um, but I just topped it with that and then I'm gonna have this mission tortilla which I've talked about before. I love these, um, got a little bit of fiber in there. I'm gonna just have it on the side or I may roll the egg, eggs up in it. But that is a quick and easy dinner that takes less than 10 minutes. It's so fast and it's loaded with protein and eggs are fantastic. Um, to accompany veggies, so it goes together, and then add some cheese, whatever you like, whatever you have. Super easy, so much protein, try it. All right, so I hope you found these um, four quick and easy dinner ideas with plenty of protein. I hope you found them helpful. Um, let me know in the comments below, which one are you gonna try? Or, you know, maybe you have a favorite protein packed dinner recipe that you love as well. Share it in the comments below, share the love, let us know, we can all get ideas from each other. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would hit like, and of course subscribe so you don't ever miss out on any of my videos. And let me know what you wanna see more of because I really do create future videos based on feedback from the people who watch my videos. So if there's something that you really love or wanna see more of, leave it in the comments below let me know and I will use it for future videos. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate you spending your time with me and I will see you same place, same time next week. Bye!